Hey, you ever been to Mogadishu? Mogadishu? Yes, of course. I just want to hear how you say it. Mogadishu. This show is sponsored by Jack Daniels, the most fantastic beverage on the planet. Next to Agua and Perrier. Welcome to the Harry Carey program. I'm your host, Harry Carey. Hey, we got a fantastic program tonight. I got a very special guest, my friend Mr. Christopher Walken. How are you? Fantastic. Hey, Chris, how you doing? I'm good. I've been eating well. I've been running, dieting, Pilates, yoga, even Avatar. Do you ever eat your vegetables? I love my vegetables. I love Brussels sprouts, green beans. Yes, I eat my vegetables. Ah, that goes down smooth. It's like caramel. Hey, I loved you in Tootsie. Tootsie? Oh, you weren't in Tootsie. I'm sorry, that was... That was a different guy. You do it again, stabbing the face with a soldering iron. Hey, what's your favorite roll? I like a pump a nickel. It's a good bread. Ah, no, I'm not talking about Portuguese rolls, or croissants, or even Kaiser rolls. Now I'm hungry. Hey, Christopher. Thanks for coming on the program tonight. You're welcome. Hey, you ever heard of Sham Wow? Shamwow, of course. It soaks up water and soda and wine and Jack Daniels. It's shamtastic. 1-800 Shamwow. Seems to be catching on. Nothing picks up liquids like Shamwow. Huh? Oh, sorry, Christopher. I think I might need stronger spectacles. How many fingers am I holding up right now? How, how many fingers? Two? No, four. Oh, hell, I don't know. Maybe 13. Let's be honest, I can't see a friggin' thing. You're blind. You're blind as a bat. Three fingers. Three finger brown. I can't even see my glass of Jack Daniels, but I know it's here. I think they call it legally blind. Go Cubs! Go Cubs! This show is sponsored by Jack Daniels. The most fantastic beverage on the planet. Next to Agua and Perrier. Hey, you ever been to Mogadishu? Mogadishu? Yes, of course. I just want to hear how you say it. Mogadishu. Hey, hey, remember that movie you were in? It was called The Dead Zone. You used to touch people and then you could see the future. I kind of wish I could do that sometimes, where I could touch someone and I could see the future. Hey, you're not going to want to go on that elevator. Hey, Christopher, could you really see the future? Or was that just a film? It's just a film. Harry, I'm an actor. I play a part. Hey, number one film of all time with Christopher Walken, Pulp Fiction. Hey, Christopher, how about doing a little Pulp Fiction for us? Butch, this watch given to your great granddaddy Dane Coolidge. Dane Coolidge was in World War I. He gave the watch to a wingman named Wanaki. Wanaki, a man he never met before in his life. Wanaki held the promise. He bring the watch home to your daddy, Butch. Your daddy was wearing this watch when he was shot over that pit of hell in Hanoi. Your father, the way he looked at it is your birthright. He'd be damned that the slimy yellow gooks get their hands on the watch, so he hid the watch. The one place he knew he could. Up his ass. He wore the watch up his ass for five years. He died of dysentery. Give me the watch. I wore this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass for two years. They sent me home. Family. Now, Butch, give the watch to you. Wow, that's a great story, Christopher Walken. I want to thank you all for watching the program tonight. 
I want to thank our special guest, Mr. Christopher Walken. It's my pleasure, Mr. McGoo. Live on Harry Carrot next week, we got Owen Wilson. Hey, Christopher, thanks again for coming out. Hope to see you soon. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. Go Jack Daniels, go Cubs. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming out. Hey, I need a refill. You ever gone to a bar and you smell so bad that they won't serve you a drink? It happens to me all the time. He spent five years of his life in a Chinese prison. You'd be damned if these slimy little gooks get their hands on your birthright, so he hit the watch of the ass. I love Jack Daniels. I've been talking to my guru. Hey, Christopher, we loved you in Hairspray. Hey, how was it working with John Travolta as a woman? I'll tell you what, Harry, let's continue this next time. Did you ever do math? What's 12 times 12 plus 4? Yes, 148, I know. Bye, Menon. <laughs>